Can you use Ecamm Live to create a full TV studio? Well, I guess we're going to find out. Hello, welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec and this could all end in disaster. <laughs> I'll just give you some warning. And uh, it's a bit different to my normal videos actually. And the reason I'm doing this is because uh, somebody in the Ecamm Live group, Daniel, uh, had a little clip of a uh, basically a TV production and asked if Ecamm, Li Ecamm Live could be used to create something similar and it sounded like an interesting challenge really so uh, I thought I'd give it a go and uh, just sort of reply to be able to show how you might be able to achieve some of these effects in Ecamm Live. Now it's a bit different to my normal videos as well because uh, two things really. First of all, I've done a modicum of preparation. <laughs> I've actually downloaded an image that I'm going to use for it. I've done a little bit of cutting and trimming of it just so that it's going to work right uh, correctly. So I'll, uh, I'll tell you how I've done that, but it's just to save you basically sitting through it. Um, and the other thing is normally when I'm doing these tutorials, they are things that I have done before and I know how to do and I feel confident about doing them. Whereas this one, it could end in a disaster really. So uh, let's just hope that some good comes out of it. <laughs> First of all, let me show you exactly what it was that we are trying to achieve. Uh, that's completely the right way. Well, it's gone off the rails already, hasn't it? There we go. Let me come to the correct scene. <laughs> there we go. So this was a, uh, a this is a, a snapshot from a YouTube video. And the question was, can we achieve something like that in Ecamm Live? Now, basically what we've got here is uh, it's a TV set. There are two uh, live presenters. There is um, TV. Uh, no, there is not TV. There is a uh, football playing on a screen over to this side. Then on this side, you've got somebody uh, outside being brought in as an interviewee. Uh, so they're speaking on this screen over here. And then behind, you've actually got a sort of TV wall, if you like, effect. So all of this uh, area behind uh, can change as well. Finally, there is also this area here that is for advertising. So this essentially is what we are trying to recreate in some way. Now, I didn't want to just go and totally take this entire set. So I have taken something slightly different, um, but it's got a few similar effects. I'll tell you a couple of the limitations of Ecamm Live right off the bat that would make this uh, not entirely possible as is. First of all, uh, although with Ecamm Live you can add uh, overlays for videos and things like that, uh, and all sorts of uh, ways that you can sort of resize things, and have a video coming in behind uh, things, uh, graphic, graphical elements and so on. One thing you can't do with Ecamm Live at the moment is something called corner pinning, which is where basically, if you see how this video over on this side is basically slightly skewed, so it's, because uh, it's at an angle. So that is not actually a sort of perfect rectangle on the screen. It's gonna be slightly, uh, uh, shorter here than it is over at this other end uh, and then it's sort of tapering back so that's one thing you can't do with uh, video and images in Ecamm Live is you can't do that sort of skewing thing because it's just not something it's uh, intended to do uh, maybe uh, in the future but it's a bit of a niche use case that is so it's not something you can do uh, as is but what you could do is we can make an overlay which basically has this cutout which perhaps would be all right for a sort of talking head like this, uh, somebody just as an interviewee, uh, but it would obviously uh, crop off some of the football play and so it wouldn't be exactly right. But with that in mind, most of these other things we should be able to do. So what I've done is I've actually got this image here of a set and what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and create a scene uh, basically with me in the set. <laughs> uh, so you are stuck with me, I'm afraid. Uh, and then I'm going to also add something into this sort of TV wall at the background. We'll have a place for advertisers down here uh, to copy that uh, from the original and then we've also got this TV wall over here where we can add another presenter and of course uh, we can also just zoom in on parts of this as well and create a version of it that is uh, sort of zoomed in so uh, with the original then sometimes during the uh, this particular show they did sort of zoom into these people now one thing I'll point out is that this is a uh, I believe uh, a totally uh, CGI desk it could be real um, I'm not sure uh, but you can see how they uh, I didn't notice that they were actually leaning on it as such so uh, the, the arms are sort of behind the desk. Uh, but you do need to make sure you get the perspective right. Now, one thing about this one is really you can see quite a lot of the top of the desk here. So it isn't necessarily ideal for a uh, green screen as I'm going to be doing today because uh, I'll appear that I'm sort of right behind the desk and there's no way of me putting my hands on the desk. If I had a little bit more time, 
and uh, <laughs> could be bothered to do this and I was doing it for a you know a professional real project what I would actually do is I would uh, have a uh, green desktop and then I would just sort of position it exactly correctly so that it's uh, the my camera angle is looking at exactly the same angle as the camera that was used to take this shot uh, and then you would position the desk with the green top on it so that when I lean my hands on my desk it does actually appear that I was leaning my hands on this desk uh, but anyway I'm uh, with with that said those caveats out of the way <laughs> sounds like I'm making excuses before I've already started uh, but that is uh, that is where we are with it so let me just come out of this for a moment and I'll show you uh, now I'll just shut this down uh, I'll show you also one thing that I've done is if you remember I mentioned about having those sort of advertiser slots in there uh, I've made a little uh, sort of movie role really uh, just in Keynote to uh, have something that we can put in there and this is basically oh, I thought I was in a live demo mode there for a moment that's better that's what I wanted so you can see that I've created this little uh, movie role which basically is just going to cycle through uh, advertiser number one, two, three, and four, uh, just to basically be able to show that you can put whatever you want in here and it's just showing that there's something moving and something changing and so this is going to appear in this desk area just, uh, just below me. So let's start by creating a blank scene which I've already done. <laughs> so let's go into that blank scene and uh, here we go. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I've actually, in fact, I'm getting ahead of myself already. <laughs> it just shows I don't know quite what I'm doing. So what I've done is I've, I've got the original image. So let me show you that one. Here we go. I've also created another one which has some cutouts. So if I come to this next image, uh, this now has a cutout basically where these uh, TV screens are over here. It has a cutout where this TV screen is. What you can see through there now, that sort of ready color, that's just my desktop basically. And you can see the desktop through here. So it's got these transparent sections, uh, but the desk is all still left exactly where it is. Now the next one that I've created is basically just the desk so uh, this is another layer which is just the desk cut out but still the same size image uh, it's still got this sort of uh, uh, the TV uh, screen <laughs> mock screen in there at the moment and then I've created one more that is basically uh, exactly the same but with a cutout for that now Probably with a bit of planning and if I was to do this properly and create a proper model then I would probably uh, slim this down and only have three overlays but uh, you'll perhaps see why I've got four in a mo moment. So let me come back to my TV set for a minute and what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to drag these images in. So we've got the first one going in. Uh, one second, there we go, that is in now and what you'll notice is, let me see if I can make this a bit bigger, it might make it easier to see what we're doing. There we go. <laughs> Oops, I don't want to move the actual scene. There we go. So what we can see here is over on uh, this side, if we look in our scenes tab, in fact, let me just close down some of these other ones that we don't need just for the moment. There we go. Uh, so now we can set, see show in current scene and we've got TV set one. I've called them one, two, three, and four. One being the one that is at the back and two and three and four getting sort of closer to the front in terms of the layering. So now I'm going to get this number two and I'm just going to drop that one in there. And that's going to take a, a little minute. And then I'll drag number three in there. And then I'm going to drag number four in there as well. So now basically I have got a stack of overlays like this and number one, uh, let me just take these all out. So the very first overlay I've got is this one, the front desk with the hole cut out. The second one I've got is the front desk but with that little part uh, still filled in just in case I want to uh, not run an ad in there or something like that and we're going to just leave that there. But obviously like I say if we were going to be doing this in the real life <laughs> then I would put a little bit more thought and care into it. The next one is the background but with all of these holes basically, uh, these transparent sections here and here and over in this little TV screen here. And then finally the very back is the original picture as it is. So let's now add me into the picture. I'm sorry but I'm going to be coming back. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the camera overlay button so I'm going to click on that one and there we go I'm back. Now we have got uh, I've got my green screen on obviously so I'm going to come into my camera effects section and I'm just going to toggle the green screen on 
and it will default to this background but you also have the option to make it transparent so I shall come down to here and change it to transparent uh, so now I am transparent and I am a giant in this studio <laughs> as you can see the scale is a little bit off but I can move myself around I could uh, reposition myself scale myself up wh whatever I want now I'm just going to do one thing just bear with me one second there we go. I'm back. <laughs> I just had to sit on a cushion because normally I am a lot lower down than this. So this would not work otherwise. And I'm just still cropping the top of my head off slightly, but it would have looked a little bit peculiar. Even when I scale myself down, uh, I just wouldn't have looked right for that desk. So I don't know what you think about this, how big I should be in this scene. <laughs> Let me just come out of demo mode and you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Uh, it's just a case of getting the scale right. Now, obviously, uh, we could actually have two of me. So if we wanted, <laughs> I don't know if you want two, two of me, if that's uh, too many to handle. But there we go. Now we've got our two presenters. Uh, and now what we need to have a look at is obviously if you were two people in a studio, then you could just simply... Uh, be sitting next to each other but the point about this is you could also be two people in two completely different locations and just bring in the feed from uh, one person and put it next to the other one so you could be uh, social distancing <laughs> and uh, still be right next to each other in the studio now I don't know if you can see from this at the moment but basically uh, I'm sort of sitting over the top of this desk a little bit let's get these both at the same height uh, but I am over the top of the desk so what I need to do now is if I come out from here uh, and I'll come back into demo mode to show you uh, here you can see that we've basically got my different layers and then the two camera shots here are right at the top so all I need to do is just drag those down and if you remember set, uh, TV set number three and four are both actually the desk so I just need to move those down so that they're behind the desk and then uh, if I come back to my full screen mode you should be able to see that I am now sitting behind the desk now as what I was trying to say before was if I was to have created a green screen effect on my table then I could almost uh, have my uh, my arms on the table and I'd have a cutout for the uh, uh, the, 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 the artificial table <laughs> so that it appeared that I could actually have my arms on the desk but that is just a limitation of what I'm doing today in the short time that I am bothering to uh, give myself for this <laughs> but I hope you can still see a little bit of what is possible so we have got this extra desk um in front and we've got this little window here I'm sorry you can't see what I'm doing can you <laughs> there we go we've got this little window here now I did create that little uh, animation of the um, the advertisers so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and add in a movie overlay so that is this little one here the little moving image and I'm going to click on that and I'm going to get this advertiser role and I'm going to open that and whoops that is a bit big isn't it and that's because it's just opened it full screen but not to worry we can resize that and what I want to do here as well is I just want to have this to uh, loop so that it is constantly looping and then I can just position this roughly uh, where it should be down here I just need to move it up actually because if you notice in this thing it's now behind all of the desks so I just want to move it up in front and I'll get the position right first and then I'll move it back behind that front desk so here we've got some advertisers number one, two, three, and four. Is that properly lined up? There we go. Uh, and that now can sit behind there. So now I've got some advertising running. So let me just come back to full screen. And you can see how we've got that. So that looks like it's a basically a TV screen behind me, uh, below me in the desk that is running ads. And the reason why I made that sort of double desk is so that if ever we want to turn the ads off and just leave that static image, then I can just turn that off and it goes back to the TV screen that we had there before. So that is, uh, that's, that's that part done. <laughs> so next we've got the, uh, the actual wall behind me the TV wall so I thought what I'd do for that one is I would just actually run a one of my other videos that I've done because uh, I don't want to get into copyright claims by uh, starting playing any uh, football matches or anything like that <laughs> uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, come back into uh, demo mode and then I'm going to come over to this side and I will grab another uh, uh, movie overlay and then I've got this one which is a video and this interestingly is a video I did, well I say interestingly, you may not be interested at all. <laughs> it's a video I did all about the Ecamm Live uh, beta release or beta release that came out last week and that would make actually some of these movie overlays a lot easier so I'll leave a link to that video up in the top corner because uh, yeah, stand by for when all of this stuff makes it to the mainstream 
it's uh, it's a really amazing uh, uh, update. So uh, now what you can see, by the way, is not me now. This is me talking in one of my previous videos. So I'm just going to, this is what I'm going to use and put this on the wall behind me. So uh, if I just scale this back down uh, and we're going to fit this into this little spot here. There we go. And I'm going to just set that to loop, although it should be probably playing for a lot longer than this uh, this video. So now what I need to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to move this down to be basically uh, this TV set number two is the one that's got the cutouts for the TV screen and things like that for the, the, the TV wall behind me. So I'm going to move this down behind TV set number two. And there you can see it's now put it in this frame behind me. Uh, and uh, I actually look like I'm in prison behind bars. <laughs> uh, I suppose some of my videos are a bit criminal, but there you go. <laughs> so now um, I'm sorry, you've got, you've got three of me now. You've got three of, uh, stuck with three of me. Let me come out of demo mode. So now you can see that there is me, two presenters, and there's this video going on behind me in the TV wall, and we've got the uh, the uh, advertising going on down here. So now we've still got these other two slots that are over on this side. So one of the things that uh, they had on this other uh, um, show. Uh, which wasn't done in Ecamm, by the way, but <laughs> I'm sure they could have done it a lot better in Ecamm if they'd uh, had a bit of time with it. So the uh, what was in there was actually a guest, wasn't it? So what I can do is I can come over to uh, my camera overlays again, and I'll select a camera overlay, and it's just going to put in the default, which is me. Uh, um, but what I can do now is I can change this to, uh, instead of my camera, I can change it to guest number one. So if I had a guest, then they would just be able to come in on uh, in this screen. So if I move this over here like this, and what you can see now is this is the issue that I was talking about earlier because there is no way that this can fit exactly into this box because it's if I make it right at one side, like that. So that now is lined up perfectly along the uh, the left hand side, but then it's not lined up along the uh, the right hand side. And if I make it correct on the right, it won't line up on the left. But the way that you do this is basically just get it as close as possible uh, so that it will cover at least all uh, of the angles. And then what I'm going to do is move this down uh, behind the background. So I'll move this back down to here. So now it does appear that it's right. So you would be able to compensate for this if you were doing a program, you know, just making sure that the person in this shot, this guest, was at the correct angle to make it look uh, look right. Uh, and so there we've got the uh, well, we've got the guest. <laughs> and uh, there is another um, uh, TV screen over here, and you could have whatever you want on there, really. So if I just move the advertiser uh, roll again, perhaps I can just duplicate that one. In fact, so if I come over to this advertiser roll. And I will just uh, du duplicate it. So now we've got another copy of that. I'm going to bring it over here and put it over this TV. Now this one definitely will not work because it's really cropped uh, quite. Um, it's at quite an angle. This this sort of uh, fake TV uh, screen in the set is it quite a quite an angle, so it's not going to look too uh, too great, I'm afraid. But uh, you get the idea. And obviously, if you were doing this, in fact, let me just start this on playing as well, and I'll set this one to loop as well. One second, it's not. Uh, maybe I'll have to do it like this first. Can't quite get it to do what I want it to do. Ah, it is looping anyway. There we go. Uh, I've just moved one of my sets out of the way. There we go. I'll move that back there like that. And then I'm going to move this all the way back down to the bottom as well. So that I believe is, if I just come to my full screen shot, that is pretty close to how you could do something like this in Ecamm. Now I've literally spent uh, 20 minutes before I started recording doing this uh, to actually just download that image uh, from Adobe Stock and then I did the little cutouts in Photoshop so that to create these four different layers and then we've been going for 20 minutes. So in 40 minutes I've created something uh, using a stock image albeit uh, but that has a lot of the elements and things like that that you might imagine from a uh, the, the, the sort of example that we saw originally that I'm trying to emulate. Obviously if this was going to be something you were going to uh, invest a little bit of time in and do properly, you'd be able to do a far better job <laughs> than I'm doing here. So I hope that that gives you a little bit of an idea of how you can actually use Ecamm Live pretty 
quickly and easily to create some of the sorts of uh, green screen effects that you see on TV, the way they have these sort of fake studios where very little of uh, modern TV studios is actually real. Often it's just the desk and everything else is green. Sometimes the desk and a little bit of uh, uh, the flooring around it or things like that. But anyway, that hopefully should help answer the question, Daniel, as to uh, how you can do something a bit like that TV set in Ecamm Live. If you have found this interesting or useful, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. And let me know in the comments of anything you've been doing that's a little bit out of the ordinary with Ecamm Live as well. Or if you know of anyone who's been doing actual proper TV productions using techniques like this as well. So that's all for now. I'll leave a link to a uh, Ecamm Live playlist over on the right hand side. And until the next video, have a wonderful day.